Tonga, Pickersville. This time, right stuff. Yes, it has been a long, long, long time. We've done a straight up right stuff pick us. I've been you know, for a while. I've just been getting a lot more comfortable going there. Then the biz sales can get some, but by the time I was about to buy them, the sales are because I was going to end on the ninth and end up in on the fourth. So I was like, eh, and so then I tried, so then I was like, oh yeah, sales tax, you got to do with that. So then I checked right stuff so and got the exact same manga vibe. Well, okay, I couldn't get everyone, I had to like take one out, just so I don't bankrupt myself. I just so I don't bankrupt myself. And yeah, I got into paying a good amount of money on right stuff. Uh, because you know, got to do sales tax. So yeah, let's begin. Alright. I guess you can tell by this big ass box, I got a lot of manga. I mean, a lot. I got a bunch of manga phones, actually, man, so, so, thanks to the uh, web extension Honey, by the way, this video is not sponsored, in case you want this video is not sponsored by Honey, but yeah, I had to say I find a coupon code to save five, uh, an additional 5%, so I'll go with mine as well, so yeah, alright, let's show you guys what I got, yeah, but I was gonna tell, new shirt, bullet club, yay, yeah, my hot topic pick up the other should probably drop around the same time this video drops, you guys can see where the shirt there. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this? Right stuff in anime box nutritional facts. Calories five total fat total fat. <laughs> Dietary fibers one hundred percent. Oh my god, this stuff is hilarious. Woo! Nice. Alright, let's see. Oh, I think I know what these are. These are two volumes. I think I know what these two are that started off. Man, I love it when I get new big ones like this. Yep. Oh, this is TG. We're starting out with TG. Alright. Yeah. A little dense here and there. I mean, here nothing really that big. But yeah, to start off with Tokyo Ghoul, baby! I got the rest of the volumes of TG. At first, I thought this was something else because I got a bunch of three and ones as well. But TG, I got volumes 13, 12, 13, and 14. Finally, I have all with TG. I'm so happy to finally have this rest of the series, finally finish it up, and then I can begin working on the reading. You guys don't watch on TG, you know, it's like pretty much like my favorite manga right now. Even though it's my third favorite anime, it's my third favorite manga, because I'm start just really just starting out again the manga. Really start buying it, so probably once I get into like, you know, FMA, maybe even Vagabond and Berserk, a Vinland Saga, that might change, and TG might be low on the list, but I feel like once I start reading FMA, I'll be like, yeah, that's me. That's the go. Then, you know, who knows? Maybe when I read Berserk, they're like, no, no, no. Berserk is the go. like, no, 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 no. Vagabond's the go. No, 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 no. I am a hero is the go. I don't know. But yeah, let me show you guys each one of these covers. So, we got a man, Uta, for volume 12. Tukyu Ghoul. Gotta say, Ashida's art. The improvements in Ashida's art is like, I mean, just look. Let's go this way. Just look at the quality of art changes from this first and this th last volume. Look at and I love these Kaneki covers. They just show you like the growth Kaneki has been like, you know, from when he started off, you know, when I got him, when he just when he first became the rule, to when white hair Kaneki became the like, and when he got the copy I mean, just look at the chaos in this cover. Look how chaotic it is. I just. Let me, I just want to look, let me look at the final, no, I'm not going to look at the final one because I don't want to spoil myself. Okay, hell, let me put these back. Yeah, volume 12. Yeah, yeah. Eight, damn it. Oh, I'm seven. Yeah. Volume one. Woo! Alright, let's look, look. Now let's look at this one. I just want, just to show you Ashida's art, like, I can just, hold on. See, hold on, let me look at the last volume. Look at that. Shit. Yeah, I mean, just, just look how much Ashida's art has improved. So you're like, look at it here now. Okay, like, hold on, let me get closer. You guys can barely look at this. Now, granted, it's improved so much more in re like Ashina is one of those artists that just got better the longer he did a series. Like, you see most manga because they're pretty much good at the starting, they pretty much keep a constant. Like, they're like Berserk, Vagabond, Naruto, Bleach, etc. But Ashina is one of those manga that start off relatively okay, 
but then reaches GOAT status by like the end of his series. Like, the shit has improved so much, improved so much, like, you really want to see, check out his, um, remaster of the first Cheddar Teachy, he remastered a few years back. You just really, compared to, like, the original chapter, you need to add some details, you look at and just look at how it was, or I mean, just like, oh boy, Sheeta has improved so much. And I like, because the art is phenomenal. I love this man's art. I would honestly say this is right up there with Taite Kubo and the guy and Vagabond Berserk in terms of art quality. It's right up there with those guys. So yeah, so yeah. We got Uta in the front. We got a boy, Arima, uh, for Vault Now apparently, I remember Chibi did a pick as they were got this money. He said like this cover is like littered with symbolism. I don't see it, but then again, I haven't read this. <laughs> so maybe when I read, I'll be like, ah, oh, I see you, she. The blood on his glasses represents this. Like, I don't know, he represents something about ghouls or some shit. I don't fucking know. But yeah, and the of course, the final but just, I'll boycott it. It's kind of like a spread as well, kind of like, oh, let me show you guys. Got a bit of a spread over there, the rest of his clothes, like, just look at his Shia's art. Let me just look at it. Godlike. So yeah. TG. The first big volume of and we're just getting started. Okay, this is I know what this is. Okay. So here is a new uh three the final, the last I got the last two Leech three and ones that I'm gonna get for a while. Now I know a lot of guys are like, oh, but glad it took you a year to get these two. I know, but this is what I'm really gonna put the, st the brakes on until I get back to the end of it. That this is what's this one? Yeah, okay. 15, this is 16, 17, 18. We got my man Toshiro on the back. We got Yoruichi and Soifi. Yeah. I know, like, since I have originally watched those, I have made that video a year ago, the video uh, when I held the first two Bleach Dream ones and read them, I've looked up these and apparently these, like, and no, a lot of people hate these because, like, they're like, oh, they're not really for collectors, this is more for, like, the hill readers, the guys that kind of, like, want stuff like that, like, buy Omnibus because, like, the more cows and less blocks got carrying these are cheaper. And it feels like, you know, the page quality and different, which I can admit, I mean, there is some bleed through. It's not that terrible and it's not really that bad. I personally like it just because, you know, Three volumes in one. That's less ma that's less you know manga volumes I gotta buy plus it's cheaper. But I think these covers are better than the original uh, English covers because if you could really compare, like look at the last two, I'll probably put them up here. Of uh, the last two volumes of Bleach, they are like like some of the most boring covers I've seen. Like they like they have the Google cool stuff, but they don't have the text that's there. The text really elevates, it. and I just kind of wish that this kept. I mean, granted, they probably did just to keep everything uniform. But I kind of want to say put the text in there, the games with volumes a little more pat than just a white background, the title, and volume this number. It's, they're so boring. These at least, this at least do have something more to look at. Plus it's red. I love red. I mean, just look at that man, Toshiro. Toshiro's probably one of my favorite characters in Bleach. See, I got that one and I got another one. Let's see if it's in here. Aha. Aha. Okay. So the rest of the volume are stuck in this. Okay. I shouldn't Got the next one here. I was originally gonna get two volumes, but I was like, ah, gotta take the last, gotta take volume four out, so I'm begging with myself. But yes, I got the final volume of my Urban Game, the final volume of my Urban Game for season one. Volume three. Got a man, Eat, got a man, Deku, Kirishima, Bakugo, and, Tod and Todoroki. And of course, you know, uh, Shigaraki in the back. Got Midnight. What the hell is this? New Di Midnight has her own perfume. Why am I not surprised? I saw these mom. The, the best of these manga covers are so interesting. They always have like, you know, hey, check out my new product. Ooh, this must really piss off Stay. But yeah, and also guys, uh, uh, in case you guys didn't know, actually, you guys, if you guys have been watching my Hero Walker videos, you know the manga, the anime has been fucking killing it. You guys like that? You guys also know that I actually managed to get my friend to watch it. My Hero Academia was on Toonami season two is airing right now. So hyped to see, cannot wait to rewatch those fights. I can't rewatch, I can't wait to rewatch season two of my American Game. Hopefully, we also give us season three right afterwards and we don't have to have like a wait period. But yeah, uh, but unfortunately, he has ended up deciding to drop the series. He only sees season one, by the way. 
And he says, like, no, over here, Waka's over hype. I don't like Bakugo. Deku's kind of annoying. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, but if you keep watching it, it gets better. I told him, like, no, Deku stops crying at, like, you know, the end of season, it starts crying at the end of season two, at the end of season one, he doesn't cry. Like, the maximum amount of time, Deku's cried at around 12, like, what? Four times in total, combining season two and season three, compared to, like, damn near crying and damn near every episode in season one. Like, I, I love Deku, but, Jesus Christ, my boy, grow some balls. <laughs> but yeah, it sucks. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna be one of those like fans like you get that rage. I'm like you like you know trying to force them to watch YouTube. I'm not doing that. Nah, nah. But it sucks. But hey, hey, it sucks. But whatever. I can't do. But you know, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I don't try. Maybe one day I can maybe convince them to get season two a shot. But nah, nah. That kind of sucks. I really think you would have really enjoyed it too. Because really, Bakugo's been getting a lot of character development lately. As we saw in like latest episode of season three when you know he was actually complimenting our boy Deku. Like, no way, man. Makes sense for you to actually pass with that power. Made the power that bar power your own. But, and you know, I've always liked Bakugo since the start because I kind of like because I just love how loud and so he's threatening people. And plus, I'm a massive fan of Vegeta. So there's also that, but yeah, I can never tell why I didn't like Bakugo with Deku because they are kind of annoying. Oh, so some is. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, so much season two is actually in this! Oh! Oh, oh! Oh, cool, they actually got some of season two in this. Great, I can read this while I'm watching the anime. I was like, oh, this is probably just the rest of season one. No, 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 they got a little bit of season two in there. And also, what do I think I got to tell them my hair real quick? I actually went to Barnes & Noble yesterday when I went to the mall to get these shirts from Hot Topic, but while I was there, went to Barnes & Noble. I went to the mall, since of course, man, I, like, I tried first, I went to the JoJo, just, you know, just to read the hardcovers a little bit. I got the first volume with, uh, Fan with uh, Phantom Blood, read a little bit of it. I was like, yeah. You know, trip down and then I went back. I saw the FMA vault, the hard covers, the latest ones that I really wanted to get. And I opened it and it was like, and oh my god, I was just shocked by the quality that the hard covers feel made of paper. Ooh, that paper felt amazing. And then I went over to the Gundam section. I took I took the first volume of the Mobile Seat Gundam, the Origins, because uh, I've heard like the great thing about those volumes. I mean, they cost thirty dollars. Like you know, they have like you know, photocopy paper. They're like the highest quality manga volumes out on the market right now. So I opened it, and I was like, <sighs> like no one could actually open that book that uh, Naruto gave at the beginning of Shippuden. That was the latest book that uh, Jiraiya went. Opened it and it just lighted up. That was me. I was like, <sighs> these pages are blinding white. I've never seen pages this white, and I'm just like. And I'll just like scroll through, I was like, this is cup. Then, afterwards, I went to the My Hero Academia section. And I picked up the latest volume. You know, the latest volume that's been released here in English, which is volume. I want to say 14 is a cover with the guy that hasn't been introduced in the anime yet. The guy with like the beak mask. Manga Rich probably know what type of anime I was probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? I, well, I opened it. And I, and I was like, and I was just kind of like breezing through it. Just like, you know, all right, let's see what new material is going to be in season four, maybe season three. And then I got to like, okay, if for any anime only watch this video, you do not want to know anything about season four. You do not want to know. Like, you want to go completely blind, skip ahead. I'm not going to give away major spoilers because I, I, I was just breezing through it. But I, I do know about this one part from uh, other stuff. But for any anime only that don't want to know anything, skip ahead. I saw the Bakugo vs. Deku fight part 2, and I immediately closed it. I was like, oh. I heard my eyes go I was like, hell, don't want to But then, I kept I, I kept going back to that same volume, just like, you know, scrolling, just like, you know, from what I saw the because I was like, just like, breathing through it like this. I wasn't sitting down reading it, because I didn't want to spoil myself with the new material. I went to the amateur. The fight? Oh, the fight looks fucking intense. I'm talking like Naruto vs. Sasuke intense. Oh, I can't wait to see Studio Bones adapt it, because, like, you know, I saw it on Instagram once, uh, Viz posted about it, and then my man Mayax was posting about it on Twitter, I'm like, dude, don't post manga shit, I'm an anime only, come on, man, keep your feed, spoiler free, and thankfully he has, but I'm like, seeing that fight, yo, yo, that fight, ooh, 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 uh, that fight's gonna be amazing when I see it again. I didn't, like I said, I didn't look through the whole thing, I just breathed through just from the little panels and little glances I got at it. Fucking intense. I don't know if I And I also know how the new villain character is going to get introduced. That actually is very interesting. has a very interesting quirk that I know from Nico B's video. Because he did a whole video about, like, last year while doing Persona 5 about, you know, My Heart Academia and how great of a series it is. He went to the manga stuff. He didn't give away any major spoilers, but he did talk about, you know, future. And this was around when season two was a thing, so this was, like, way later. 
and I was watching it, and I felt like, I'm not going to give any spoils on this character, but I really liked his quirk, his backstory, and, I, and I'm very curious to see that, see that animated. Yeah. Alright, so, Volume 3, My Hero Academia. Alright, next up, we got two volumes of Blue Exorcist. You guys know the book, speaking of Blue Exorcist. The first volume of Black Torch has also come down in English. I just found that out, I see a lot, a little, uh, like a week ago or so. And I was like, fuck, I heard my manga boss. I could have gotten Black Torch instead. Fuck, because, like, you guys know how much I love Black Torch. You guys know I've been doing, like, you know, chapter reactions whenever we get the chapters in English, which are, like, it's rarer than Brock Lesnar actually showing up. Like, it's ridiculous. But Blue Exorcist, like, yeah. Well, yeah, I, so that was sucks, but yeah. We got Blue Exorcist, which I see. Blue Exorcist is probably like, the most underrated. Th this, Black Torch, and hell, even Bleach to a certain extent. Post, um, Soul Society arc? But just let me check. I want to know. Like, let's get into the Grimjow stuff. Okay, it looks like it goes into a little bit of the Grimjow stuff. Yeah, I think it's called the, like, a wrong car arc. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, I guess you a little bit of new material. I mean, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll read this whole thing, but you know, but yeah, this is like the last one. Thinking, but we'll talk about that a little later. Yeah, like I said, this even Bleach to research because like everyone says like, oh, oh, Pulse is already art for Bleach is fucking shit. I'm like, no, it's not. I mean, I've only seen up this whole side arc, but from the Bound arc I saw and some other clips of Bleach I've seen, Bleach stays fucking awesome. I mean, I know mean, there's my man James and everything, but yeah, look, just love this series. I wish we would get a season three for this because this shit's smooth. This show is so fucking good. Like, nobody talks about Bleach since Black Torch. These are like some of my most underrated manga. These are like the most underrated ma anime slash manga series I own. Is without the, was, is without now these two. Nobody talks about them. They should because they're fucking awesome. But yeah, got the two volumes of Black uh, Bla uh, Blue Exorcist. Got Best Girl Hinami. Hinami. No, not Hinami. Uh. I think I'm thinking of her right now. Shiami! Shiami, not Hinami. I'm like, Hinami. Talking about TG for a thing, I was like, no, Shiami. Yes, the best girl, Shiami, love her. I, have, I do ship her with Rin, in case you're wondering. I do ship her with Rin. And we got uh, Mephisto for volume four. I'm looking forward to reading this. I can't wait to get past the anime until I get to manga and like, I get to like post, -ma uh, post season two. Which that's been like, that's why I was like, I was like, what else did I like? Okay, I gotta get rid of something. I was like, I'm not getting rid of blues because I need like. I want to get through this. I want to get to that. I want to get to that new material. So yeah, yeah. I'm hyped to read this. I love Blue Exorcist, and yeah, nothing more I can say. I love the Blue Exorcist. It's fucking awesome. If you're a fan of Bleach. You're a fan of more um, Shonen series, like a bit of with some high school elements in there, with a bit of um, uh, you know ghost hunting in there, a little bit of, like the the, uh, the paranormal in the, added in there. They'll give Black to a Black Clover a Black uh, Black Blue Exorcist a shot. If you're a fan, I would recommend if you're like a fan of Bleach, it's kind of similar to Bleach in a way, and Black Torch is in uh, another way, so yeah, if you're a fan of those series, then we can check out Blue Exorcist. I recommend watching the anime first, just you know, do the anime if you like that, then go read the manga and get past the, the anime material, so yeah. Look forward to reading these, because uh, look forward to watching the reading these, because I got Blue Exorcist. Yeah, um, and last but not least, last volume of Bleach, we got uh, Grimjow on the front. Not, not Grimjow, we got uh, Ginichimaru. I was, why did I say Grimjow? <laughs> My boy Ichigo and his bong. Yeah, that's a bong Kai and one of the guys from the Iran car arc. That's a Grimjow. Yeah, I guess honestly, not that much bleed through. I mean, there is a little bit, but it ain't like that bad. Plus, why do Viz keep printing the color pages in black and white? Like, why? Why, Viz? Why? 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 Why you do that, Viz? Why can't you put the color pigles in color pages in actual color? I don't know if this does that for the for the model but yeah. So yeah, you're like just let me put this in a decent order so I can show you all everything as like a final like no send up, so it just as a quick recap. Alright. Alright. So <laughs> you're gonna be trying to hold up all this shit. <laughs> So, to recap, these all the volumes all over me. Recap, TG, three volumes, I'm as hell, can't wait to read it. 
You have no love, TG. My hero can be. Blue Exorcist, motherfuckers. And of course, last but not certainly not least, Bleach. You guys know I love Bleach. Can't wait to read this. So yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Also, one thing. Uh, no, I just wanted to say, I think I lost my train of thought there for a second. For, I thought I was like, I don't think I lost my train of thought. Uh, it's Black Torch. Yeah, yeah, I got it right I was like, I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. I felt like, but I don't know, maybe it might come back to me later. But yeah, um, yeah, and we got Blush. Okay, Fight Keys and Blush. Bleach. You guys know that Bleach? Can't wait to read these. Finally get through the Soul Society arc in manga form. This is gonna be entertaining to read because I love the Soul Society arc. And let's not tip over. So yeah, all right. Let me just show you all this. Hold up. That's like a fun. Just to show you guys like. Yeah, I think this is like about like what nine volumes? I think this is nine volumes of manga or laser or like or just physical. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot wait to read this, and just in time, college is about to start soon, so I, at least I got something to read on the downtime. If I have any downtime while I'm at college, so yeah. I got a lot of manga to read. So yeah. Ah. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did subscribe for you. Follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitter. Link down below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.